In this video, we're going to learn about compounds and molecules. And we'll learn that all compounds are molecules, but not all molecules are compounds. So we'll back up a little bit and talk about the atom. Remember, an atom is the smallest particle of an element, and it's made of three subatomic particles. It's made of protons, which are found in the nucleus, electrons, which orbit the nucleus, and then neutrons, which are also found in the nucleus. A molecule is when two or more atoms combine together. And these combinations can be two of the same element. So this one over here, oxygen, there's two oxygen atoms combined together to make a molecule, or they could be of two or more different elements. So if we look here, we have carbon dioxide. So we have carbon and two oxygen atoms to make that molecule. A compound is when you have molecules that are made of two or more elements. So if you look at this formula here, this is C6H12O6, also known as glucose, and that would be a compound. CO2, like we mentioned before, and H2O are all examples of compounds because there's more than one element combined together. So now we're going to put what we've just learned to the test. So first we're asked to circle all the examples that are atoms. Remember atoms are just made of one element and not more than one of those same elements combined together. So the first one would be right here, copper, Cu. There's only one of those. CO or cobalt is another example. He is another example. That's helium. And then finally, Ne or neon is a final example. So these are all the atoms on this page. Now we're asked to circle all the examples that are molecules. So molecules are more than one atom combined together. So CH4 would be an example, because there's two. MgO, O2 is an example. So it was H2 and CO2, and finally H2O. All of these are examples of molecules. And finally, we're asked to circle all the examples that are compounds. So compounds are when you have two or more elements joined together in a molecule. So here, CH4, there's two elements, so that is an example of a compound. So is MgO, and so is CO2, and H2O. But these two over here, oxygen and hydrogen, there's, they're molecules, but they're not compounds because there's only one atom type. So now we're going to learn how to count atoms. And chemical formulas give us some information about the molecule, and it tells us in symbols and in numbers what atoms make up the compound. So in this example, we have CO2. So right here, we have a carbon. And then we also have an oxygen. And if you look at the numbers that are beside, you can know how many atoms of that type are in the molecule. So there's a two there, so that means we have two oxygens. There's no number here. Whenever there's no number, we know and we can assume that there's one of them. We just don't take the time to write one. So CO2, that means there's one carbon and two oxygen. So if we add those together, there's three total atoms in this molecule. And now we're gonna practice. So the first one, we're going to count the atoms in H2O or water. So again, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen, and we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So two plus one is equal to three atoms. Here's another example. So we have Na2SO4. So every time there's a new capital letter, we know that's another element. So this isn't this lowercase a is not a, a separate element because it's connected to the N. So Na is sodium, and when there's a two there. S is sulfur, and there's one. And then O is oxygen, and there's a subscript four, so there's four oxygens. So we've added up all of those. Two plus one plus four is seven atoms. Here's another example. This one is propane or C3H8. So we have carbon and we have hydrogen. There's a subscript three for the carbon and there's a subscript eight for the hydrogen. So three plus eight is equal to 11 atoms. 
So finally we have magnesium phosphate. And you'll notice something quite different about this one compared to the rest. There's brackets around the PO4. So just like in math, if there's a number outside of a bracket, that means that you multiply everything within the bracket by that number. But for this case, it's always the number to the right of the bracket. So if we have here Mg3, so we'll start here. So we have magnesium, and there's three of them because there's a subscript three. Then we have phosphorus. Now phosphorus, there's no subscripts. We know there's one within the bracket, and then we multiply that by two. So one times two is two. And then finally oxygen, there's a subscript four, but then there's that two again. So four times two is eight. We actually have eight oxygens. So if we add all that up, we have 13 atoms in this molecule, which is a compound.